was submitted and was selected as a late breaking abstract. Um, this was the SPAC 4 trial. SPAC meaning the European Study Group for Pancreatic Cancer, uh, which has conducted some important studies in, in the field. And we um, presented our results on a randomized phase three controlled trial in patients who've had resected pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma. And we compared standard adjuvant chemotherapy, six months intravenous gemcitabine with the combination of intravenous gemcitabine and oral capecitabine, also for the same number of cycles, six months, uh, uh, six cycles. And what kind of results did you see? The uh, trial itself was um, planned for 722 patients with an equal number in each arm. The study uh, accrued quicker than expected, uh, or quicker than target, quicker than planned for. And the Independent Data and Safety Monitoring Committee asked us to report sooner than the number of uh, anticipated events because there were interesting findings. And the results showed two things. Firstly, that there was no significant difference in complications in toxicity, overall toxicity, between the two, ar two treatment arms. Obviously, some differences between one arm and the other, but overall, they balanced out. So, so that, that was good. Um, the proportion of patients that had fatigue, for example, grade three, four fatigue was only 5% in the gem arm and 6% in the combination arm. So it was good to see that in the, in the adjuvant context. So that was one side of it. The other side of it was that um, the um, overall survival rate was significantly better in the combination arm with a hazard ratio of 0 0.82. This translated into a five-year survival benefit of 16% with the gemcitabine arm, as we've seen previously in this group of patients. Uh, but the combination arm now produced an estimated five-year survival rate of 29%. So this really represented a uh, significant improvement uh, compared to what we've ever had previously before. And pancreatic cancer is famous for being uh, hard to treat, hard to manage, and it is, it is, but it, it's 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 been um, a, a misrepresentation to say that no progress is being made. Um, yes, pancreas cancer has now moved to be the third commonest cause of death in the United States, just ahead of breast cancer. Uh, it's the fifth commonest cause of death, for example, uh, in the UK. But one-year survival rates are improving and overall survival rates are improving so we can now see a clear water between the number of new cases diagnosed and the number of patients that are dying from pancreatic cancer. So for example in the US we're looking at a, a, new, a newly diagnosed case rate of around 53,000 per year compared to say uh, 42,000 dying. Uh, in the UK this is 9,400 deaths a year and 8,000, sorry, 9,400 9, new diagnoses per year and 8,800 dying. Previously, the numbers were identical, but things are beginning to change in both the advanced setting, uh, but even more dramatically in the adjuvant setting. Will these trials continue or are they moving forwards? What are the next few steps? So, um, what, where do we go next? There are a number of adjuvant trials that are in a state of um, ma uh, maturation. So for example, there's, there's a big study in France, uh, not quite as big as ours, but it's a 500 uh, patient study comparing fulfirinox as adjuvant treatment with gemcitabine, modified fulfirinox, less toxic than standard fulfirinox. So it'll be very interesting to see what the results of that are that's already matured. And similarly, there's another trial uh, of gemcitabine with a Braxane um, sponsored and funded by Celgene compared to adjuvant uh, chemotherapy, uh, adjuvant uh, gemcitabine. So as these trials mature, it will be interesting to see which others are positive. Um, and if they are, 
to look at biomarkers that will help us identify which of the different treatments uh, are best suited for patients. And that's likely to lead to a further increase in survival because at the moment every arm gets the same treatment irrespective of the heterogeneity within that arm. And even with, with, with what we know already, uh, with gemcitabine and gemcitabine and capecitabine, it may be possible to actually select patients that will do better with either one or either arm or indeed with 5 fluorouracil. Well, that's all I've got written down here to ask, but that was before the many questions came at you in the press conference. Is there anything else that you would like to add? It was uh, a study conducted in uh, 92 sites spread over six countries. This includes the uh, countries comprising the United Kingdom, but also a large contribution from Sweden, France and Germany. It's, um, um, there's little doubt that this will no now become the standard of care as adjuvant treatment for pancreatic cancer around the world.